Well, feels like you found love. I did a reading prior to this, another sign. I'll talk about it in a little bit. Huh. Is it a foreign person? Someone who completes you? Someone who you waited for so long and they're finally here. Normally the world card is a foreign person, long distance relationship. You could have met this person also online. Now, there is a past life connection there, which is a two of cups we love. Now, I don't see no problem here, so we'll keep it that way. How about that for now? <laughs> Aquarius, let's begin. This morning, I message everyone on our app, which is free to download from my consultation. It's free. I give out my consultation there for free. And a lot of people are experiencing some delays in their manifestation, whatever it may be. And I gave them a crystal that they can use. And I suggested a Super 7, which I'll talk more about in a little bit. So make sure you download it. It's free. Um, you just have to turn on the notification or else you won't get the free stuff that I give out. The Two of Cups is definitely love reciprocated. Isn't it amazing when you have someone that expresses their love also, right? Um, I feel like that's, uh, you know, that's what Venus is. It's uh, not that I feel. Venus is about reciprocity. It's the equal of giving and taking, so back and forth. So you have someone who can be a Leo, which I mentioned, I did a previous reading. Leo got the same wonderful card. And it just so happened your seventh house is a Leo, right? Two of Pentacles is here. So time and time again, I feel like you have waited for relationship, for love to come into your life. And you're experiencing all these changes all at the same time in life. In general, you have Saturn in the first house. And you're finally getting someone to be with. But then with the Two of Pentacles, it's a cycle of like today, yes, tomorrow can be not, you know, like you and Sammy. So it's challenging to keep this relationship. Uh, it's not really um, stable as what you would like because the Two of Pentacles is in and out. Um, they may be busy. They don't have the time to make the relationship grow. The Two of Pentacles is also trying to manage and handle all these things at the same time, which means like you also are very busy. Now, the relationship is not the main priority from your person. You're making it as a priority. Okay. Now, you've been thinking lately, pondering, about how to talk to them and express what is in your mind. It's not about desire. There's nothing that you want. It's more of like you just need to be heard and be seen. Oh. And I see here that you're not scared or not fearful of having that conversation. Because the Ace of Swords is here. Mm -hmm. Now, the Ace of Swords is about clarifying the situation. So you don't want just love. Now you want probably a commitment. You want the details. You know, and it's the... Not that it's the root of any kind of, you know, relationship, not working out, but it's the desire. So first, you want to be with them. Now you, you, uh, First, you want someone to be there, right? So now you have, then you love, right? And then now that you're in love, you want to be together, okay? The next level is be official, and the next level is like, okay, we're official, so we move in together, and the next we move together, or we get married, this and that, and then the kids, and then all those things. So... The reason why things does not work out really, okay, or you know, chance of relationship not working out fully, is the constant desire. Because desire leads to our pain and suffering. Because you want more, you want more, you want more. The very first time when you manifest it is you just want to have someone that you love and you found it. But now things has changed, right? So once you go back to the root, which is now there is a soulmate, which you wanted someone to love and then they love you back. If you stay there, of course, in humanity or how society would look at it, it's like, well, you guys have been dating for so long. You should be married already. And then you get married and you get divorced in two years. You should have just stayed where it is. But it's a constant desire, the constant desire. So until we have limited or accepted 
a situation is, it's not about settling. I'm pretty sure you probably, what's that? I, you know, what if I want to have kids? I need to get married, right? Totally understand that. But that's the desire to have kids. Understand? So it's another desire. And then that leads to more pain. Have you ha do you have kids? How much painful it is? No kidding. So Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups. You want to clarify the situation because now you want something more. Exactly. So if anything, when I coach, I always tell people, desire consume. Love nurture. So when you're desiring more from a person and asking more and this and that, not that you shouldn't. You should, of course, right? You deserve it. You know, understand that that can be a root of a pain. Mm -hmm. You have to understand what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy what I'm asking for. I just want to clarify the situation. I understand. A desire to clarify the situation, right? But when you get the answer from your person that they're not ready and they're not sure, two of pentacles, so there is the pain. Desire leads to pain. Exactly. But Sal, isn't it also, if I don't know where it's going, two of pen, uh, it's a swords right here and I don't clarify it, then ignorance is also a sin. True, ignorance is a sin, right? Because it is our, you know, uh, it is our duty to find the truth. And you're trying to find the truth. You found the true love. Business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today. Get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. You found a true love, but then there's an obstacle. The obstacle is to settle. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, right? So you want to break this cycle. You want to break this pattern. Ooh, Three of Swords and a Justice. But if it doesn't work out the way that you would like, I'm pretty sure... It may lead to... Okay, so when I was uh, talking about earlier also in Manifestation, um, this is our latest, uh, this is the Laughing Buddha, which is uh, Hotai. So it comes with a Super 7. And our Super 7 is, uh, we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. It is available now. It has four different kinds, Black Obsidian Citrine. And of course, there's one with real gold, which is the classic. So the way that Super 7 works, it's seven crystals in one. So imagine... As human, we manifest different things in our life. And all those things can be put into one crystal and can help you. So that's how strong it is. And especially if there is a delay. If your delay, you know, you've experienced, experienced delays in life, the Super 7 can help you with that one. Okay? So if you're experiencing, oh, this has been a cycle for us, for whoever you're dating, then, you know, that's basically, you know, that the crystal can help there. Okay? The Nine of Pentacles is here with the Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. So, your person will not respond to this, High Priestess. They're very much guarded, Nine of Wands. And Nine of Pentacles is their independence. Some people just want to be independent. There's nothing wrong with that, right? What's wrong is like you're trying to make someone who's independent depend. You understand me? So it doesn't work again. So, is it true then that, you know, that desire really leads to more our pain and suffering? Yes, that's why there is the detachment. Now, how can you be in love and detached? Well, look at it in this perspective. We're all alive and we're not with God. And of course, God probably loves us, right? We are created in love. But that's detachment. We're not there, right? Still loved by God, 100%, right? So a lot of people will associate that love is to have. No, that's ownership. So what you want is to own, you know, it's like this is, uh, you know, if you love someone, you kind of just want to be like you're holding them, you're, you know, you're being with them. And then it doesn't nurture the person. It kills the person. Not saying that you're doing that. I'm just saying that your person is independent and they're happy with it. Tomorrow we'll touch the subject again. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me.